I am standing in the creek bed where I installed a half inch ram pump that brought water up to a small cabin. We had a lot of rain during the hurricane, right at 20 to 25 inches in two days, which typically in this area, a massive storm would be considered five inches of rain. And uh, this creek right here went from about one or 200 gallons a minute to thousands and thousands of gallons. It washed out the culvert that used to be back here. And uh, yeah, the ram pump is down there about uh, 500 feet. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment. But we have had uh, a lot of devastation in this area for sure. I'll show you a few pictures of what this property looks like. And uh, it's pretty tragic. This section of culvert pipe and also the one over there by the barn used to be way up there where that fallen tree is down there and so all of that's been washed out uh, currently i am gathering pieces of half inch pipe because i'm going to be installing this for a farm that has cows without water and so i'll head up there next and do that um, they need a ram pump to get water to them so i'm trying to salvage as much of this black pipe as i can it looks like my half inch pvc pipe is pretty well tangled up over here I might be able to salvage some of this, but a lot of it, I mean, can't do much with that. So, poly pipe is probably mostly what I'm gonna be getting here and uh, see if I can't get some cows some water. Somehow the ram pump managed to not wash away. It's right down here. So I think I'm gonna grab that, uh, but the fence that had the donkeys is washed out all down here. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's insane way this looks here but we've got people from all over the country here uh, helping to get things back in order somewhere we lost our stock tanks they're down here in the river somewhere who knows how far they've gone but I may walk down here for a moment to see what I can find before I head back with these uh, ram pump pieces land house ram pumps they can survive a flood <laughs> no not really uh, looks like we've got a crack right there and but I can still use that waste valve. That'll be good. Pressure tank's probably still fine. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be able to salvage some of that for use uh, with these cows here in just a bit. Man, it's insane how much wider this creek has become. I'm gonna pull up the rest of this poly pipe here and head on to the next place. So this is the most water anybody has seen in their life around here in uh, what 123 years. So. Uh, if people say, why weren't you more prepared? Well, nobody's seen this kind of rain and this much water in the creeks in 123 years. So, so for example, this creek that is six foot down there was washing up here and going around. So we're talking about even this fairly small creek, uh, water was over this bridge here and that bridge is uh, over my head from the water to there. It's about eight feet. Um, wash out all over there. The donkeys actually had uh, water up to the other side of the fence over there. Um, yeah, so just ridiculous. The house over there had three feet of water in it. Uh, this old house up here was high enough, but oh, it's a it was a disaster. All right, I'll show you what I got for the, um, the ramp pump install later. Where I'm going to put this, every bridge was washed out on the road, so um, they're having a hard time getting water to a couple of these cows. So, all right, I'll see you after a while. I have to get this work done. I'm interrupting this video from a week in the future to bring you two different links that you may want to look at if you're interested in helping the area. The first one is a GoFundMe. Um, there is, well, there are hundreds of culverts and bridges in the area that have been washed out. And so a local person has started a GoFundMe to try and earn some money to help people in the area to get culverts because they are very expensive. 
Um, the other link is, as you can see behind me, fall time is here in the mountains and it's cold. It's 52 degrees today. Um, tomorrow night is supposed to be below freezing and there are thousands of people who are still without electricity. I heard um, there's a town close to me called Bakersville and it's going to be May of 2025 before some of them have electricity which means they're going through the winter time without heat. So one of the links down below is a local organization that is gathering funds for heaters to be either helicoptered in or driven on ATVs. Um, I'll try to share a clip here of a, um, a road that's so washed out that they have to um, use helicopters to bring in supplies to these people. Um, last time I checked, they had made, I think $20,000 on the heaters to give those out in the area. So uh, if you're interested and you have extra funds, um, check those links out, I'd appreciate it. And now back to the video. I'm coming up on the location where I'm supposed to install these ram pumps. I've seen two bridges washed out so far, and uh, I think there are more of them right up here. So, well, it looks like they've got this one back up with an excavator, which is good. Um, there are so many people in the area now working to get things restored. Uh, so here's the first place I'm supposed to put one in. See if I can find a spot to stop up here, and I'll show you uh, where it's gonna be. It's uh, this field up over here I hear it has some cows in it. Okay, change of plans. So there was a spring down here and I was able to use a fern co fitting to tap it. And so one pipe goes straight to feed the cows the water that they need and the other one goes up here and it's for uh, this house to use to fill up uh, their five gallon buckets from the spring. So. If I can uh, swap this valve and close that one, water goes up and over. Um, and if it's closed, then water goes on over to the cows.
I'm still doing good here at my house because of the solar. Um, we have my solar power up here, but as you can see, grid power has been out for 16 days now at the house. Um, and if you didn't know, if you haven't seen my videos in the past, uh, well, actually, this room doesn't have power. <laughs> um, but I've got an EG4 inverter and my big battery set up down here. And so we are good, except for the hot water heater and the air conditioner heater. And then lastly, the uh, stove here.